¿Qué tal? Bienvenidos. Arrancamos una semana muy especial del Estrella de Mediterráneo en Lady Shopping. Se tendría que estar jugando durante esta semana en Golf Terramar en Siches, pero bueno, al final no se ha podido jugar por las circunstancias en las que nos encontramos. Y, y bueno, por lo tanto, toca hacer una semana muy especial, estar muy presentes en las redes sociales eh, para que todos podáis participar y, y pasemos una semana como si prácticamente estuviéramos eh, allí en el torneo, en, en Terramar, en Siches. Y, y arrancamos una semana también de Instagram Lives que van a ser eh, muy interesantes porque vamos a, van a pasar por aquí la, eh, muchas de las ganadoras de, de este estrella Mediterráneo y Open y hoy precisamente ahora viene una de ellas que es eh, Florentina Parker. Eh, que fue la primera ganadora de la Estrella de Mediterránea en Ladies Open 2017. Eh, una pasada edición, la verdad, porque estuvieron hasta el último hoyo, en cuatro hoyos de playoff, eh, Ana Nordquist, Florentina Parker, Carlota Ciganda, eh, Azara Muñoz, eh, Melissa Reid. Fue una edición impresionante y la vamos a recordar ahora eh, con Florentina Parker cuando se conecte, que bueno, entre otras cosas, eh, tiene tres victorias en el, en el Ladies European Tour, eh, jugó a la Solheim Cup de 2017 además, eh, ganó el torneo de Sitges en, en junio-julio y, y dos meses después eh, jugó a la Solheim Cup, entre otras cosas, gracias también a, a la victoria de 2017 eh, que como estoy diciendo eh, ganó Florentina Parker, ¿no? fue una edición espectacular que a lo largo de esta semana vamos a recordar eh, muchas imágenes, muchos vídeos, eh, los protagonistas van a hablar y, y nada, ya está, here it is Florentina, so I'm gonna invite her, la voy a invitar y nada, empezamos ya. Hi. Hi Florentina. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Very it works, good. which is good. I'm not yeah. so good with technology, but I'm managed. No, oh, but it's good. It's good. We're here. Um, nice to see you. Um, you. Well, how did you get past uh, during this confinement? How was this month? Yeah, I mean, it's been, I can't believe how many months it's already been. Um, I was in South Africa when it started, um, you know, spreading a bit more and we didn't really know what direction it was going. And then all of a sudden, you know, cancelled. Uh, borders are closed, no flights, and then it just kind of spiraled. And I've been I've been at home in Germany um, the last few months, and um, you know, <laughs> there's always a positive you can take away from a negative. You know, we we do travel a lot normally, yeah. Um, so it's quite nice being at home. But then on the other side, you know, we're not doing what we like to do. We can't play any tournaments. Um, so it's been, you know, there's good sides and there's bad sides. And to be honest, we've just had to say, well, it's the same for everyone. You know, the, the, yeah. the world has been put on pause and yeah. we just have to accept it. That's true. And during this week, uh, we knew that the first tournament on the LET, it's going to be the Scottish Open. Yes. Um, I guess you're looking forward to the tournaments ahead on the LET. Yes, I mean, now they've, uh, they've said we're, um, the 2020 season, 2021 is going to be like a, you know, a near like a rollover. Um, yeah. So every tournament we have this year, I think, is uh, a, a bonus, um, you know, that we can um, get playing again. And yes, yeah, Scotland's going to be the first one back and then we'll have a few, uh, few more in Europe. Um, and I think, you know, everyone's going to be excited. It's going to be, you yeah. know, a strange feeling with, you know, with no, no crowds, no fans, um, mm -hmm. with an atmosphere. Yeah. Um, so we just have to get used to, get used to that. Uh -huh. Okay. And going back uh, these months, uh, what have you been doing uh, for the past few months that you don't usually do? Well what i i don't usually have much time for is yeah. uh gardening so oh. i love i love gardening um i uh have a luckily a big garden and so i was able to spend a lot of time getting everything ready um i grow vegetables i fruit um and all the flowers i've been uh, looking after and maintaining yeah Oh, it sounds good, eh? Wonderful. Yeah, well, because we were lucky, we had good weather, um, as you as you can see here now. Um, oh, yeah. 
so uh, that's nice. And I've also been playing a lot of tennis. So I, I love tennis. I'm in uh -huh. a tennis team. And um, yeah. Oh, I like that. And, mm -hmm. and is this the first Instagram live you have ever done? No, I, I've done one before. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So it's not the first one. Okay. Um, and do you like uh, watching series, uh, movies? What have you been watching? Well, yeah, not really. I'm more of an out person um, but obviously I have been watching a few uh, of the series um, you know that are on uh, Netflix and things like this yeah. um, but I liked actually one of my uh, favorite ones is a Spanish one, um, Which one? Uh, Casa de Papel oh yes yes so um, I, I really I really like this one uh, obviously I didn't watch it in Spanish but yeah. in English um, and I think it's really good. Really enjoy it. Oh, yeah. so you have uh, watched it in English or Spanish? English, English yeah. Okay, okay. But the it's, next... a, it's a Spanish series, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The next one you have to watch it in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't understand anything, but um, no, I think it's it's really clever the way they've done it and uh, really enjoyable. Yeah. True. True. Um, okay, already talking about the, the Estrella Mediterranean Ladies Open, uh, what do you like most about this tournament? Well, I think it's the location is amazing. Um, the, well, so you start with the golf course, the golf club Terramar um, yeah. is a fantastic course. And I think it's, you know, for every level, we've played it now three different ways. Um, the three different three times we've been there, we you know they they've changed things. They made it more difficult. So I think we know exactly how you want to set it up. And when it's great when a course has so much versatility, so you can change one place, you can make it easier or you can make it harder quite quickly without doing massive changes. Um, I think that's uh, a special a special thing. Um, I preferred it the way it was in 2017. I've told Alicia many times, do not change it. Um, <laughs> but obviously did not listen. Um, so, and then you have the town, Sitges, um, just next door, where we, you know, in the evenings, we have a great time to be able to relax, have great food, be on the beach, which is an, a real bonus, because most yeah. of the times, golf courses are outside of the towns, they're quite far away. Whereas mm -hmm. with uh, Golf Terramar, it, you have the great location being so close. Yep. Um, and then obviously the beer afterwards, the Estrella Dam. I mean, it's just a, a perfect week, really. Yeah, true. Uh, I think next year we are gonna make the setup as in 2017. Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, you won the, the first edition. Uh, what do you remember most of that year? Because it was a very hard one with really, really, really good players on the top. Yeah, um, I, was, I was playing very well uh, mm -hmm. going uh, into the, you know, the, the last year I played well. Um, and I was, you know, feeling quite confident. But golf is crazy game. Anything can happen. Yeah. Um, and I was just, what I remember mostly was, you know, I was in the um, last group um, with Carlotta, who was the f absolute favorite. Yeah. Uh, Mel Reed was leading by four. And um, I was just, uh, you know, I'm like, I've been there many times as, you know, I've been on tour so long. Um, you have to just try and, and, and enjoy it. But I also said, I'm going to attack. I mean, I'm, you know, I want to win. Um, mm -hmm. So I, maybe I'm in a different position to people who've just started. They want to hold on to if they finish second or third or fourth. Okay. And I said, I, I don't care. You know, I want to win. Or mm -hmm. if I finish 10th, then I finish 10th. You know, I don't want to play safe for the second spot. And I think when you look back on the video footage, I started with a birdie with the day. I started birdied one, Melissa bogeyed one. So there was a two-shot swing straight away. I'm like, this is this is perfect for me. 
Um, and then you can see the disappointment on my face um, when I played 18th hole. I birdied 18, but I'm yeah. like, I'm second again. You know, I'm, I'm, Carlotta has a short birdie putt Ooh. and I'm like, oh, you know, I've finished second so many times. I'm not really that interested. You know, I wanted to win. So I was really disappointed. And then within one minute, everything changes and you're in a playoff with two other people. And um, I was like, well, this is it. You know, I mean, this is, this is just meant to be. And I don't think I've ever played better in the playoff in like my golfing career. It was the best golf I've played. I buddied that 18th hole so many times, yeah. um, you know, in regular play, the first playoff hole, the last one. It was just, and now when I stand on the 18th tee, I'm like, how did I do it? You know, yeah. how? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was tough because it was a four play of hole with Carlota and with Anna Nordquist. Yeah. Wow. Um, and my question is, how do you manage to calm their nerves to end up winning uh, one of the best um, final tournaments I remember? Mm. Well... <laughs> In a playoff, that was my first as a, a professional. Okay. You've got not well, you're second anyway. Like there's no more like it's the what's the worst that can happen is mm -hmm. your second. Um, that's basically what I was saying. Well, you've got to go for it, and you're up against two of the best players. Um, yeah. You know, so I'm. You know, nobody's expecting me to win anyway. So there's nothing, there's nothing to lose. And usually when there's nothing to lose, mm -hmm. that's when you play the best. And I think poor Carlotta, because of the last hole, yeah. she, was, she was just, you know, just gone, really, in, mentally. Um, and you could just see it. So, um, yeah, it was then Anna, and uh, she's so tough. And I think I got a bit lucky, and I just played my best golf you know, in those 30 minutes. Yeah, that's true. Um, and that uh, made you play the Sohan Cup of 2017 yeah. a few months uh, later. Uh, yeah. That one's, it's, it's one of your most important victories. Well, definitely, because what happened next? Um, mm -hmm. the, the thing was in the Solheim Cup standing, I was, um, I was doing quite well because I yeah. had eight top tens in 2016. I didn't win, um, but I was high up on the on the Solheim Cup ranking, yeah. and I um, yeah, I mean that propelled me into a guaranteed spot, um, and yeah, the Solheim Cup for a European and for any American is is the most important, um, yeah, events in a professional career. Yeah, so true. to be able to say I've played it is you know, is amazing. And to say that the Estrella Dam got me there is just, you know, it's like the icing on the cake. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we have some questions uh, of our fans. First of all, uh, Paola, hello. Uh, which is your favorite hole in Terramar? Oh, well, um, so we keep changing the holes, um, yeah. the numbers. So mm -hmm. it might be uh, a different number now. Um, but obviously for me, the, the 18th, um, the one we played in 2017 is always going to be one of my favorites, even though now I find it really difficult. Um, mm -hmm. But it's the par three going yeah. towards the water. So it's, we, we, we played it as the third, we played it as the 18th, and I think we played it as another hole. Um, but it's the, the par three going towards the water. Yeah, the 14th or 15th, I think. I, 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 yeah, because we keep changing the order, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, but uh, it's a really well-designed golf course. And like I said, you can change so many things. Um, mm -hmm. And so you can have it for any kind of um, level of, um, of event or, yeah, professional game. Uh-huh, okay. Um, another one. What's your favorite club? Um, whew, that's a tricky one. I mean, yeah. normally I'd say it's the driver. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, you know, because it's, it's quite nice to be able to get the ball on the way and give yourself a great chance for your next shot. 
Um, probably the most fun is pitching. Okay. So maybe one of my wedges. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I'm coming back to the tournaments after the rounds in, in Sitges, in Terramar. Uh, what do you like to do to disconnect? To disconnect? Well, usually we go into the town, into Sitges. Okay. Um, and uh, in the year of 2017, um, we found a nice restaurant. I don't know if I can if I can say it. I think I think it was called um, the the Beach House. Um, and um, we we went back there, and then I played a good first day. And my friends know I get very superstitious. And I yeah. was with um, Annalise Cordal, yeah, and a French player. And she just knows me and she's like, you want to go back to the same restaurant? And I said, oh, yes, please, you know, because I played quite nice today. So we went there again on the Friday and I, we sat in the same seat, the same table. And then I played quite nicely and she's like, Flory, where do you want to go? We've got to go to the same place. And um, so we ended up every day back at the same restaurant back at the beach house and then when I won it was so nice because they knew they'd heard about it and then they realized who I was and then they gave us champagne and everything which was really nice yeah oh. so um yeah so we kept going back to the same restaurant sat yeah. in the same place same table and I thought it was just really nice yeah. wow I like that story yeah it's cool Yeah. yeah, wonderful. Um, they are continue asking to us uh, some fans. Uh, who are your best friends on tour? Yeah, so Annalise Cordal. Um, yeah. I we've known each other for a very long time. Um, then a German girl, Laura Fünfstück. Yeah. Yeah, you've heard of her. And um, my friends are very international. And I'm Beth Allen, yeah. um, the American. And um, yeah, but when you when you're on tour for so long, you know so many people, and everybody is very nice, and um, you know you everybody is friendly, and um, you know. But you always have a few closer friends that you talk to more, um, and you can share the ups and downs of of golf. Okay, um, and this month that we didn't have. Uh, any tournaments what do you miss most about the the tour competition uh you know you want to be able you can play and practice as much as you like at mm -hmm. home um so the golf courses are open here uh we can play but it's not the same without a, a tournament you know it's having the scorecard in your hand and playing competitive golf playing mm -hmm. with players you know who are better than you and uh learning because every time you play you'll learn something new it's not always good um but you will learn something and you don't have that when you're just playing with friends um it's so relaxed whereas when you get to a tour tournament you have the pressure and that's the only way you can get better is by going through pressure moments okay Um, and uh, here we have some uh, little young uh, players of Terramar. Uh, what would you recommend to these young people who want to uh, go pro? Yeah, well, I mean, I would always recommend that when you always find someone who's better than you, mm -hmm. play with people who are better, maybe they're a bit older. Um, and then what I always like to do was play for, play for something whether it's a golf ball, whether it's for lunch, an ice cream, piece of cake, play for something because that's the only way you can learn. Eventually, it's going to be about for money. Um, but when you're a child, you need to have like you want to win. And um, I always think it's nice when you're playing for something. So um, it's not just, oh, I won, but or I lost and there was nothing you didn't have any pain or you know but to buy someone lunch or to you know buy an ice cream or to give them your yeah. golf ball hurts you know and as a child you don't want to do that so and I think that makes you a better player for playing for something and try and have people who are better than you uh -huh. because only then you can improve because if you're always the best 
it's really hard to get better and there's always going to be someone who's better than you that's true i like that advice i'm gonna take it also. <laughs> 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 um okay coming back to to the tournament um and you have been talking about uh, your favorite restaurant and mm. um, what is your favorite food when you come to Sitges or to Spain? Yeah, well, I mean, I can't really pronounce it, but I'd always like a paella. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so um, <laughs> I do, I love that. And um, I try and have it at home and try and uh, copy uh, the recipes here. Um, no, I, I, I mean, Spanish food is what's not like to like. It's just uh, paella we love. Um, and, you know, the beer is nice. The whole setting is just great. Okay, um, and what are your goals for this year? Well, my goals for this year, I mean, I had, I had quite a few goals. Um, I've, I've not been playing very well the last year or two, and I've been trying to understand why and, um, you know, drives you crazy. Um, mm -hmm. But so I, I, I did have quite a few goals for this year. Now, because we've had all the cancellations of tournaments and because of the coronavirus, Yep. that I'm not going to be able to fill, fulfill those goals. Um, my, my private goals I will be able to do. Like I had, I said I wanted to run um, 10 kilometers, which I was able to do, you know, and then <laughs> things like this. But um, well, to do an Instagram Live was one of my personal goals because I hadn't ever done one before. And in this time, I was able to do it. So there's some good good things, but my golfing goals... Um, like I said, I won't be able to fulfill. Um, I'm just going to continue the, probably the same goals for next year. Okay. And if you want to talk uh, goals for the long term, do you have uh, any dream? Well, I mean, I, I, I said a few years ago, I, I've won three LET tournaments. Um, I, I'd love to get to 10, but it's taken me you know, 12 years or 10 years to get to three. Um, so I don't know if that's possible, but I want to win again. Uh, I, I need to win again because that's why I play. And um, I need to be able to get back into that position. Um, it will take you a few attempts when you're back in, you know, when you're, um, when you're leading again, you might not always win, but I need to get back into the position where I'm regularly contending. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, just uh, to finish, um, do you like to listen to music? Um, so, so, I'm not really, I, I don't know all the, uh, the newest songs, no. Okay. And do you have any favorite band? A favorite band? Yeah. Oh, Sing. gosh. Um, not, not, not really. I, I know I'm slightly strange, um, but... No, I don't have a favorite band. <laughs> I generally, I generally enjoy live music. Um, I think live music is uh, and like more in the pop uh, direction. Um, I think you know, there's nothing nicer being outside, having live music um, and uh, friendly faces around you. Okay. Um, and fin finally, uh, which is your favorite place to disconnect? The garden. The garden. Oh. When, I'm, when I'm in the garden and I'm looking after my vegetables and my fruit and my flowers, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's just so therapeutic, um, you know, and to see things grow and learn while, whilst doing so is amazing. So like last week, I was able to, I harvested uh, 1.3 kilos of potatoes. Wow. Um, so it's nice. Then you have, you know, the food from your garden in your home and um, makes it a bit more special. And you've seen it grow. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's true. I like it. Um, <laughs> so, well, Florentina, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. For being with us this time. It's uh, my pleasure. And hope we will see you soon and come back next year. To the yes, I'll definitely see you next year. Okay, and I, and I will tell the the bosses to to make the 2017 cursed setup. Okay. Exactly. I've uh, spoken to 
I think her name is Maria, who's the greenkeeper yeah. at uh, Golf Terama. And uh, I think I, I need it exactly the same as 2017. You've had your Spanish winner now. So yeah. you've, you've, you've done that. So we can go back to, back to being a bit more friendly to European, to international guests. <laughs> okay, okay. I will get it. I will get it. Yeah. So well, see you soon. And, and okay. thank you very much. Okay. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye for the Bye.